Hello there! As we said last time, in this video we will expand upon the team of Universe 4, including their stats, transformations, and roles during the Tournament of Power. Before starting, thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoy. Our first member of Team 4 is Keiwei. For our revision, Keiwei is a princess from the Kingdom of Magic and Sorcery that exists in Universe 4 which is well known throughout the cosmos. Most inhabitants of this kingdom are well versed in the magical arts, which is why the gods of Universe 4 requested the best sorcerer they possess to participate in the Tournament of Power. Even though the current Magic Queen wasn't available to participate, Princess Keiwei joined the team instead, serving as the main support for Universe 4. With that being said, Keiwei has the cooperation score of 3 out of 3 due to her incredibly effective techniques to support allies. Offensively, Keiwei is capable of conjuring a wide variety of weapons to fight and other offensive spells, although she lacks any particularly powerful attacks. This grants her a score of 2 out of 3. By the time of the Tournament of Power, Keiwei is able to use the Godly Key which in turn can be used to increase her magic power even more. Her optimization score while using Godly Key and Magic is 2 out of 3, since Keiwei still doesn't have perfect control. The biggest strength of Keiwei is her supportive techniques, as we will see later. She has a variety of spells that can immensely increase the power of her allies' abilities. Keiwei has other spells such as healing, flying, conjuration, and barriers, giving her a utility score of 3 out of 3. Next is a promising young pupil of the God of Destruction from Universe 4, Ganos. Ganos is part of a bird-like race known for being exceptional hunters capable of creating electricity. Despite his young age, Ganos was chosen by Quetella to participate in the tournament, acknowledging his potential to become stronger in a short amount of time. This was proved right when Ganos was able to master Semi-Divine Key prior to the Tournament of Power, with an optimization score of 3 out of 3. As a hunter, Ganos has learned how to strategically handle his targets, but he still lacks emotional maturity, granting him a score of 1.5 out of 3 in intellect. Ganos has naturally enhanced senses, which increases his precision. This is not only very useful for combat, but also for spying and hunting granting Ganos a skill score of 2 out of 3. Ganos went through a magical ritual performed by Keiwei that allows his body and mind to temporarily grow to adulthood. This not only increases his power, but also improves his other attributes. Basically, the spell makes Ganos trade places with his future self. Adult Ganos is capable of using Godly Key. But since this state only lasts for a limited period before Ganos returns to normal, it grants him an optimization score of 2 out of 3. The intellect and skill stats of the adult Ganos also increase due to being more mature and experienced. Adult Ganos has masterful control over electricity abilities, which he uses for very quick and lethal electric attacks against his targets with the added effect of briefly paralyzing them. This grants Adult Ganos an offensive score of 3 out of 3. Adult Ganos can generate an electric field to increase his sensory capabilities and to spot any weak spots in his target. Furthermore, he can control and absorb electricity from his surroundings to empower himself. Finally, he can restrain the target with an electric field. With that being said, Adult Ganos has a utility score of 2 out of 3. Adult Ganos, with his super form, can momentarily boost his power even more by consuming all the electricity charged in his body at once. Next, we have the Blind Warrior Majora. For our revision, to compensate for his blindness, Majora uses his psychic powers to further enhance his naturally heightened hearing and smell. With that, Majora is completely aware of his surroundings down to the smallest details. Combined with his key sensing, Majora is exceptionally good at predicting the movements of his opponents. Additionally, Majora perfectly integrates his telekinetic abilities and martial arts skills, of which he is an expert, especially when using his wide variety of weapons to attack his opponents in tandem with his telekinesis. This grants Majora a skill of 3 out of 3. 
Furthermore, Majora is capable of teleporting short distances to surprise his opponents. However, the most dangerous technique of Majora is his psychic ability to weaken and even temporarily disable any of the four senses of his targets, such as their ability to see. To activate this technique, Majora has to directly hit the target. With that being said, Majora has a score of 3 out of 3 in utility. Even though Majora is open to cooperation and has useful techniques to help his allies, he is naturally a very distrustful person, which grants him a score of 2 out of 3 in cooperation. At the time of the Tournament of Power, Majora was able to master Semi-Divine Key with an optimization score of 3 out of 3. Next is the Gladiator Orc, Nink. Even before the Tournament of Power, Nink was already considered the physically strongest mortal in Universe 4. By the time of the tournament, Nink was able to master Godly Key, with an optimization score of 3 out of 3. Nink is incredibly skilled at melee combat and has been fighting for most his life, granting him a skill score of 3 out of 3. Despite being so physically strong, Nink doesn't use energy key attacks, which can be a limiting factor offensively. However, he is still capable of using his overwhelming raw strength to generate extremely powerful shockwaves by clapping his hands or producing destructive screams. Additionally, Nink can lethally damage his opponents by imbuing objects with key and throwing them. Thus, Nink has a score of 2 out of 3 in offense. Nink is not capable of proper flight, but he can use his powerful legs to move extremely fast by either running or jumping. Besides key reading, Nink has enhanced senses, enough to grant him a score of 1.3 in utility. Just like Ganos, Nink also went through a magical ritual performed by Keiwei, granting the Orc Warrior an enhanced cloth that increases his power. However, during the Tournament of Power, Nink still isn't capable of maintaining the cloth for long, giving him an optimization score of 1.5 out of 3. The Mighty Cloth allows Nink to focus all his godly key and release it with powerful energy wave through his mouth, increasing his offensive score to 2.5 out of 3. Next, the fighter from Universe 4 is Mana. By the time of the Tournament of Power, Mana was able to master Semi-Divine Key with an optimization score of 3 out of 3. Mana is capable of enlarging any part of her body and she uses this ability to form a giant ball and enhance her body's offensive capabilities with key, granting Mana a score of 2 out of 3 in both offense and utility. Thanks to a magical buff given by Keiwei, Mana is capable of gradually increasing her power up to 64. However, due to its charge time, it has an optimization score of 1.5 out of 3. Next, we have the werewolf, Shosa. For our revision, Shosa inherits his divine power from the powerful Kamisama wolf of his home world, allowing him to use the werewolf moon form. Shosa, in his werewolf form, mainly uses his powerful claws to attack with energy waves that slash the target, giving him a score of 3 out of 3 in offense. Shosa has the instincts of an apex predator, making him incredibly lethal during combat, with a skill score of 3 out of 3. By the time of the Tournament of Power, Shosa had mastered Semi-Divine Key, but had only started to learn how to control Godly Key. To access his divine power, Shosa needs to receive energy waves that celestial bodies generate, such as moons. Because of that, Keiwei used the magical spell on Shosa to allow him to generate these same energy waves, granting him an optimization score of 2 out of 3 in his godly new moon state. In addition to having enhanced senses, Shosa can automatically and rapidly heal from any wounds, although at the cost of energy consumption, granting Shosa a utility score of 2 out of 3. Next, we have Draconi. For our revision, she is a mortal descendant from a clan of shadow demons. Draconi is a powerful and versatile fighter making use of key energy attacks and a variety of magic techniques such as Shadow Conjuration. Other spells allow Draconi to hide and travel through any source of shadow, create clones, possess, and paralyze her opponents. 
Finally, her most dangerous spell is sealing her target inside a Shadow Realm, granting her a score of 3 out of 3 in utility. When Dracone is within a Shadow Source, her power increases gradually, up to her power level of 80 when using Godly Key. However, due to the conditions required to fully power up, this state has an optimization score of 1.5 out of 3. Next, the member of Universe 4 is the strange creature Shansa. For a revision, Shansa is a part of a very isolated and unique race from Universe 4 that possesses extraordinary psychic powers, with Shansa having the most potential of all of them. Shansa is highly intelligent, but due to his naive nature, has an intellect score of 2.5 out of 3. Even though Shansa has no knowledge of martial arts, he is a master at using his psychic abilities with a skill score of 3 out of 3. Shansa's nervous and skittish personality makes it hard for him to cooperate with others and to fight strong opponents directly, granting him a score of 2 out of 3 in cooperation and 1.5 out of 3 in motivation. Besides the basic psychic abilities, such as telekinesis, Shansa mainly uses illusions against one or multiple targets, which can feel so realistic they can fool all five senses and even key reading. Shansa can even directly attack the minds of the target with powerful illusions, which can leave them comatose. One of the ways to break these illusions, besides just having much higher power level, is to overcome them by using their own minds or by attacking Shansa directly. With that being said, Shansa has a utility score of 3 out of 3. Next is the invisible fighter, Gamisalas. For a revision, Gamisalas belongs to a chameleon-like race capable of camouflage and adapting their attacks to poison their targets. Gamisala is the most skilled and experienced predator of his race capable of making his body invisible and intangible. He can also hide his key, as well as any scent and noises he makes while fighting, although this consumes a lot more key. Additionally, Gamisalas has a moderate level of regeneration and can stretch his arms, legs, and neck, granting him an overall score of 3 out of 3 in utility. Gamisalas is capable of adapting his key to be poisonous to the target, potentially making his physical and energy attacks lethal to the enemy, but only if he completes the adaptation. The spread of this adaptation depends on the strength of the enemy, and the adaptation process activates by either observing the target while fighting others, or by directly fighting the target, which makes the adaptation much faster. With that being said, Gamisalas has an offensive score of 3 out of 3. By the time of the Tournament of Power, Gamisalas has control over Godly Key. In his Super Predator God form at full power, he has an optimization score of 2 out of 3. Gamisalas comes from a very secretive and solitary culture, making it very hard for him to openly cooperate with his allies, granting him a score of 1 out of 3 in cooperation. The final member of Universe 4 is Damon. For our revision, he is the most dangerous and powerful mortal of his universe, being respected even by the god of destruction, Patella. Damon is a cicada-like creature, capable of quickly changing forms depending on the situation. In his agile state, Damon is incredibly fast and agile, being able to dodge attacks with ease. His body is so small that it is hard to find. In his bulky state, Damon is bigger, but more durable and his attacks are much more powerful. By the time of the Tournament of Power, Damon had mastered Godly Key and could quickly change between both states while fighting, making him very unpredictable. Damon has a third state, combining both forms into one and increasing his power. Although it strains his body a lot more, granting him an optimization score of 2 out of 3. Damon is also capable of shedding his body to recover from any damage he has received, granting him a score of 1.5 out of 3 in utility. Finally, Damon can temporarily increase his power past its limits and use all his godly key to create countless smaller and physically weaker versions of himself. Damon uses the Scourge of Cicadas to self-destruct 
once overwhelming the target, creating a long sequence of powerful explosion that can break the defenses of even stronger opponents. Additionally, the Scourge of Cicadas sing in synchronization, allowing them to coordinate the attacks and paralyze the target with their endless and loud screeches. Damon uses all his energy to create the Cicada Swarm, making him vulnerable afterwards, granting him a score of 1.5 out of 3 in optimization. Now, we will quickly go through each fighter's role in the team. The Cicada Damon is the strongest member of Universe 4, making him the powerhouse with a power level of up to 87. Next, the main fighters of Team 4 are Gamisalas and Nink, with power levels up to 83 and 85 respectively. Following are the secondary fighters, Ganos, Dekori, and Shansa, with power levels of up to 89, 80, and 77 respectively. The backup fighters of Team 4 are Shosa and Keiwei, with power levels of up to 68 and 70 respectively. Finally, the support fighters of Universe 4 are Majora and Mana, with power levels of up to 57 and 64 respectively. Before finishing, let's go through the main gods of Universe 4. For our revision, the power and skills of Kuru belong to the higher tier of the Kaoshin, with a power level up to 84 while using magic, making him the strongest Supreme Kai so far in our videos. Next is the God of Destruction, Quitella, having a power level comparable to Beerus, although lacking in the motivation score. Finally, the Angel of Universe 4, Konik, is part of the higher tier of angels, with a power level of up to 99 in his angelic form. With that, we are done with Universe 4 and all their participants. In our next video, we will expand upon Universe 9, known as the Improvised Universe. Alright, that should be it for the video, if you enjoyed it, please consider giving a like and subscribing to my channel, and if you prefer not to, I still appreciate it you watching the video. With that being said, I hope you have great days to come, and see you again soon. Smiley Face